Hello everyone. In today's quick tip Tuesday tutorial, try saying that fast five times. Um, I want to show you how to upload fonts into the design space. I know a lot of people, you know, you ask, well, how did you get that font? Or what's the name of that font? And you go to look for it in design space and you don't have it. Thefont.com is an excellent, excellent resource for fonts. It is completely free. There are tons of choices. You don't have to pay any money at all. Um, and I, got, I wanted to show you how to do that very quickly. So I figured since Easter is the next um, holiday that's coming up, I would show you how to do just a search for fonts and how to upload them into Design Space. And um, so over here, well, if you look at the top, they kind of have some of the font choices categorized. And trust me when I say, this isn't even all of them. These are just, I guess, their most popular font choices within these categories. So if I click on Easter, and I wanna see all of the Easter fonts in my name. So I'll type in my name and hit submit and look at the choices that I have. So I see Easter nature, if I wanted to have my name in little Easter eggs, little Easter time, um, Easter the, with bunny ears, um, just so many options. And I can promise you that I don't have any of these downloaded in, onto my, on my computer at all because this is the first time I've ever looked at the Easter category. But let's say I wanted to go with this one, Easter time and I wanted to download. You can donate to the author. It also tells you how many people downloaded this font just yesterday, 26,000 people. So don't be surprised if you see these, um, this design somewhere else. So let me show you, if I click download, once I download it, you can see that it's downloaded, it's in a zip folder. That does not mean that it's automatically in design space. I wanna show you that it's actually not in design space. So I'll go here and go to Cricut Design Space just to show you that even though it's downloaded on my computer, it's not in Cricut Design Space. So let's go, say I go to a new project and I type my text, which is my name. Okay. And I, what was that one called? Let me go back and see. It was called Easter Time. So let me find it. my name and I'll do a search Easter. I'll just type in Easter. No results. That means this font has not been downloaded. It's not uploaded actually into Cricut Design Space. So I'll close it out. I, yes, I do want to quit. I'll go here and open it up. So there are two different options for this one. There's Easter Time, True Type Font. It has all of this. I have to install it. I'll let it install. And then there's Easter Time Dark. I don't even know what that is, but let's see. Oh, okay, it's just the opposite. So the there are dark eggs. That's interesting. I'll install that one too. Okay, and then I'll close this out. Now they are actually downloaded on my computer and I can go back to Cricut Design Space and open it up like I'm starting a new project. Okay, so now I'm going to look for that font again. Remember, it wasn't there the first time. I'm just typing in Easter. Look, there it is, Easter time. So my name should turn it, look how cute! Oh my goodness. My name in eggs, I like it. And if I wanted to just make that into something, I could. I don't want to, but if I did want to, I could. I could keep it just like this, or I could actually ungroup it. And I can change each one of these eggs to a different color. Look at that. I want this one to be yellow, and I want this one to be, what's that, peach? I don't know. I want this one to be purple. I want this one to be red. I want this one to be brown. I don't want a brown egg, but I like that. That's cute. Look, if you can see my face, you can see my face. You can see how cute this is. And I can click make it and I would have seven different mats to put it on, but that's a tutorial for a whole other day. So hopefully you've learned something um, just by looking at what I did today. 
first things first I'm, I'm not going to make this and i'm not even going to save this and close this out because i don't i don't want to have my name in eggs um go to defont.com d-a-f-o-n-t dot com look at their options you can do a preview. I can choose a different name. I could say I wanted to look for Madison. I'll choose Madison, that's my daughter. She's my uh, videographer today. I can say I wanna see what her name look, looks like really big, okay? And it will show, let me hit submit. Did I hit submit? Look at that. Let me see what Madison looks like in the Christmas option. Look at the snowflake. How beautiful. Can you imagine trying to weed that out? That's pretty Christmas bell. I don't have that downloaded, okay? So I don't have design space open. Look, down here, I don't have design space open. If I'm going too fast, ask questions. I will answer, you know, that's what I'm here for. Madison in candy canes, I'm gonna download it just because I know I don't have it. True type font. And I wanna install that. Okay. So if I went back to design space, which I don't have design space open, go back to design space. Let's say I wanted to type in my name, not Madison. I want to see my name in candy cane. Oh, what candy? What was it called, Madison candy cane? Look how cute that is. So super cute. And I could go through and do the same thing. I could ungroup it. I could change these to red and white. I could do whatever I wanted to do. I could make the D really big. I'm not gonna get into that, but just wanted to quickly show you how to upload fonts from defont.com into Design Space so that you can have them forever and you won't have to pay for them. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.